welcome to today. As you can see, I'm outside, which is, you know, not a thing that happens. But today we're at YA Shot, which is a convention in Uxbridge in conjunction with the UK Blogger Awards, which I am a nominated for, which is the coolest thing in the world. So far, we've been to two panels, one with Melinda Salisbury and Owen Hamilton, who are just hilarious bays, and I love them. And this morning, I went to Vic James's panel because she's my bae, I'm at Gilded Cage, as you all know. And we've been shopping for food now because we're all starving. So we'll catch up with you later. Welcome back, we have made it to our hotel room which is very nice and glamorous. There's a TV, everybody. So, excuse me, neighbors. I didn't <laughs> sign up for this. We have brought all our food here because we don't need the stress of eating outside amongst Just humans. <gasps> right, so we did a thing. Guys, are we in the right room? <laughs> I'm scared. 105, yeah? So we bought some snacks. Just a few. This is <laughs> this is fine. This is totally fine. We're just prepping for tonight, pretty much, because we plan to have some drinks. I can just imagine us coming to the room at 3 a.m., falling into the beds. Yeah. I hope we can make it through the door. Guys, do we all know how to work the key cards <laughs> while not fully alive? Right now, we're just gonna chill for a few hours because I didn't want to be running around between the panels. We're just gonna chill in the room until the awards because I'm very excited, but also very scared because I have to do a panel. So guys, I thought I would show you my outfit. So for outfit one of YA Shot, it's very casual as you can see, just some tied up trousers because we're all glamming up for the evening. Hello friends. <laughs> Me and Zoe are in a lift together as you do. You excited for the awards? No, I'm absolutely terrified. We're both just internally dying right now. We're just gonna gate crash my hotel room because Zoe wants to see our bath. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Don't you sound like a complete freak? Oh shit, it's just the bath. <laughs> that was a joke. That's not why we're going to my room. How do I get out? If you just go downstairs. This is very like technical. If you make me late oh, to one's panel. I'm not gonna make you late. Oh, you've got oh. a nice little view here. I'm sure there are people just like coming in here. I came into your room. I didn't ask Kate in there, did I? <laughs> yeah, but that's fine. Hello, friends. I have a guest. Oh, I can't, I can't do this. This panel. We're just gonna pass out on stage. It's fine. That'll be entertaining. It'll be fine. I know, and you can film it. Will we just yeah. fall to the floor? All three of us. This is a. <laughs> This is a Harry Potter hip flask, and you can't get more hip than that. <laughs> <laughs> nice one! I know we're meant to be getting ready for the awards, but <laughs> we yeah. really want to take a nap. It's Apparently. been a tiring day, and we haven't really been outside. We haven't done anything productive at all. I mean, yeah, no, we've just travelled here, really. <laughs> Yeah, we actually have to get dressed and stuff, and we currently just want to sleep. It's a very comfortable bed, and we love this hotel room. The TV is on, we're watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> we haven't found an iron in our room, which is very rude, because Zoe's room had an iron. Hey everybody, so we're now on the way to the awards with my two lovely panellists, Zoe and Jen. We're going to be completely rambling the whole time, because... We don't really know what's going to happen, but I just thought I should show you our walk of stress. Hi. Look at how gorgeous her hair is. Oh, look at it. It's not it, real. I haven't brushed it, darling. But it's different to what it was this morning. I took the buns out. I know it looks so pretty, though. <laughs> oh my god! Quick. I had to. I coloured mine a little it's bit. It's gorgeous. I love the colour on your ends. That's the colour I want. You. How did you it's do that? A, it's, I do it myself, right? Okay. And it's called silver... Silver Steel. Oh, from oh, Knight oh. and Wilson. Oh. Do you know that brand? No. That's the one. <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> She's very excited. No. Look, look at Zoe. <laughs> well, we know we don't. You don't need to get that good. <laughs> I'm Jen and I'm a page Jenny Lee. 
Um, I blog and I also write on the side. Uh, that's why I would be start our blogs and how we stay motivated to keep creating new content. Well, I kind of already said in mind that I started because of a book called The Bone Season. And as for new content, I do really struggle because when you've been blogging a long time, it's so hard to think of new ideas. So really I just watch videos, read fellow bloggers posts and just try and get inspiration from them to keep my blog going really. <laughs> For me, I found it really hard to find people that actually read books in my real life that I knew, except my two best people over there. And so I just needed a platform to sort of talk about the feels with other people. And for motivation, Oh yeah, that's my selfish <laughs> thing. And for motivation, I think sometimes actually it's okay to not blog when you don't know what to do. And I go on hiatuses quite a lot because, you know, when you're doing other things like university and having a job, YouTube and a blog, it gets too much sometimes. So just taking a break is actually really useful to get new ideas. But you do feel guilty though, don't you? Yeah. You feel so yeah. guilty, but sometimes that cleanse is mm. something it's that what you need to do, yeah. The same for me with the creating new content. I actually Google sometimes blog ideas and then don't copy them, just I always get ideas from them. I know I don't like that one, but I could change it. Um, but starting my blog was more um, just general blog. I didn't know what I wanted to write about. So I just started writing actually Walking Dead reviews, which still get a lot of hits now, four years later. Um, <laughs> like really bad reviews. Um, <laughs> and then I discovered the, booking, the book community and I was like, okay, this is where I want to be. Um, that's kind of how I got into it really. Did you always read a lot? So oh yeah. Started. Yeah, I was always a reader, but none of my friends read. Um, I didn't I didn't really use Twitter that much. I mean, if you go back to my older tweets, they're uh, just weird. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> I'm yes. quite to that. <laughs> I was more of a writer. I kind of started writing, so a lot of my early blogs were writing tips instead of um, reviews. Um, and then I discovered um, community and realised, oh, uh, this is something I can do and enjoy, so that's kind of where I got into it. How do you decide which arcs to read first? Do you make a plan? I used to when I only got a few a month and I used to do it in order of release day and they used to be published just before the book came out but now that's just completely gone out the window because there is no possible way that I could read 60 books in a month. I don't even think I'll read that this year. <laughs> so now I just, whatever I fancy, I will read and review. I don't really have a plan just because time management is a big issue. So if I tried to read everything the same as Zoe, it would be a disaster for health. You'd never get anything else done. Exactly. So I tend to go with books I'm more familiar with. So if I'm looking forward to something, I'm more inclined to read that book rather than something that I haven't heard of before that's come in the mail, which I don't want to say I put it to the back list, but say if it's an author that I really, really love, I'm going to read that book first, if you see what I mean. Yeah, I'm the same. Um, I recently start getting more from um, publishers and it kind of gets overwhelming a little bit. It does. And you kind of feel like you have to review them, but uh, it's impossible. Like, if you've got six months in a month, it's just... But it just makes you feel awful. You just yeah. think, sent me this. Yeah. I need to read it for them. I do try and prioritise the date of publication. If I know it's coming out by mm. a certain yeah. date, I tend to work to that. Um, otherwise, it's kind of... Um, my favourite genre is if it's a book I'd know I wouldn't like, I probably won't review it. Genres is a big one, yeah. I do try as well not to just review the same publisher, even if I love their books. Yeah, that's awesome. I do try to do a lot of publishers rather than just focus on one. Like, I love Osborne and Simon and & Schuster, but I just need to <laughs> get away from them a bit. <laughs> and I also find if I read more, I blog less. I get into like a massive oh, God, obsession with reading, and I'll read 10 books in a week, and then I'm like, oh, I've got to review a book that I read like nine books ago. If you don't do it, it's you know, you can't, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's the balance, I think, is the hardest part of reading and then reviewing it straight away. Have a, <laughs> I've never had a full on fan moment while meeting an author. No, I never. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think everyone knows how much I love After the Fire by Will Hill. He is sitting there, so that makes it just a tiny bit more awkward. <laughs> <We'll get going. laughs> but yeah, I was a, just a little bit hyperactive when I met him. That's the story. <laughs> That's the story. I'm not going into that story. I got really drunk. Let's just say that and leave it there. <laughs> okay, so mine's a bit more detailed. I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> I went to meet Cassandra Clare for the first time at a signing and they said, oh you know 
no photos because there's no time. And I thought, excuse me, you're not telling me what to do. This is Sonic Pair. I need a picture. And back then, I had one of those cameras that don't flip forward. And I tried to take a selfie with one of those, like this, yeah, so I couldn't see what I was doing. And she was looking at me like oh, I was crazy because I was sort of fangirling, but at the same time, I was like, I just want to get this picture. In the end, Sarah just Brennan took my picture for me, and this, it was just a whole debacle, which I kind of hide away and back in my cell. And I hope she doesn't remember that. <laughs> I'm quite lucky, I think I don't have anything really embarrassing that I can think of because I just to get rid of it. Um, I think I met Mallory Blackman, uh, a friend of mine introduced me, it was just so casual. She was like, oh yeah, this is Mallory. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, no, I haven't read her books for years and known her like clean author I know. And I just had to talk to her like a normal person, which obviously she is, but it was just, for me afterwards, I was like, oh, 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 oh
you know the world, it's just got magic stuff in it. So again, Gilded Cage, everyone, read it, it's the best. <laughs> I think for me it's um, space, anything with space, it's a sci-fi. If there's someone on another planet or whatever, I'm, I'm down, so I think that I'd be happy to be there forever. <laughs> Uh, if you could be any book character, who would you be? This isn't really a YA book character, but I'd want to be a Rapunzel. Like, I love Disney. I love my Disney princesses. I mean, so. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, so it would either be Rapunzel or more YA it would be Paige from the bonus season. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like that very much. I really struggled with this one mm -hmm. um, because I was thinking about it and all the characters that I love from YA, they all have really horrible lives yes. and really bad things happening well, to them. Well, that's the awful setting. That's, right? that's exactly what I was you like. You can wait till their book is finished and then when they're happy, unless they're well, dead. Well, but then, but I don't know. Well, so my answer is more, it's more adult. It's, uh, I can't say anything unless I choose him. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Rothfuss. Pope? Pope? The name of the wind? No? Anyone? Right. Tumbleweed. Um, but he's like a very big anti hero, and I just love how everyone thinks he's amazing and done all these things. Um, but as you read it, you're in the present day, and he's just an innkeeper, and you're kind of finding out what happened behind the scenes. And he's not amazing, he's just really good at putting the wall up in people's eyes. So I just think it'd be cool to be that clever and get away with things. Um, if I could say his name, it would have been better, but there we go. <laughs> I'm not going to know your name. It's spelled K-D-O-T-H-E, so I feel like I have a... But you can spell it. So yeah. one. That's good enough. You get one mark and then you spell it. And the last question is, what Hogwarts house have you guys wanted to do? Slytherin. Yeah, same. I mean, just hello. Really and cool. the as well. All the evilness, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were cool for me. That's all that we have. Yeah, that's it.